So you want to photograph like John Baldessari. Before we get this video started, I wanted to say rest in peace to John Baldessari. He passed away earlier this year in January, and I just wanted to wish my condolences to his friends and family. He's an inspiration to me as an artist and continues to be as I study more of his work. With that being said, let's begin. The first thing you guys will need is to announce to the world that you will not be making any more boring art. You will also need to write down a bajillion times that you will not be making any more boring art. The cremating your previous work is optional. I'll leave that up to you guys. The next thing you guys will need is a film camera. I don't think there's any other options because I feel like you will really want the vibrant colors that come with using a film camera. The next thing you guys will need is a film stock that really has punchy colors. I have here some Velvia, some Provia, and also some Color Plus. I would recommend to definitely consider using slide film because uh, those usually have much better colors than a uh, normal film. But if you don't want to spend the price that comes with using slide film, definitely go with Color Plus. That would be my recommendation. You could definitely use a uh, Portra 400, but um, I don't really like the pastel colors that come with it. So maybe if you would underexpose it, then it would be fine. The next thing you guys will need is to take pictures of Americana and the mundane. John really had a good sense of just normal photos that just were mysterious and captivating, I would say. His photos, he, he seemed to be just walking around Los Angeles, but his he had a great eye for Americana, I would say. The last thing you guys will need is dots. And um, what I did is I just used dots and colors that really complemented the photos. But um, I've also seen John use um, just ordinary colors like red, uh, blue, green, and uh, he, they didn't really complement the photo in any way. It just added a new dimension and just a way for the photo to pop. I'll put up some sample photos of some photos I've taken recently and I'll be looking on my phone. With the first photo, I really enjoy this one because um, I really like the green and I think I used green because it just complements the photo very nicely and it's the general color that you get when looking at it. The next photo, I use a blue dot and um, I also feel like it's the general color of it and really complements the photo very nicely. The last photo I used a white dot and then again I think it also complements the photo and just goes very nicely with the whole photo in general. But yes, I think to achieve the style the thing that you guys need to focus on is to just get a good sense of uh, the mundane and capturing Americana. I think that's the most difficult part in achieving this style and this look. But once you get that down, all you need is to have good colors with your film stock and also to just add dots however you feel like is needed to the photo. But yes, that's how to photograph like John Baltasari. That's all for today. Peace.